This video discusses and demonstrates Excel Reporter's Advanced Alarm Management Connector, which generates reports that are compliant with the ISA 18.2 and IEC 62682 alarm management standards. Before discussing ISA compliance, it should be noted that Excel Reporter produces two types of alarm reports, standard alarm reports and advanced ISA compliant ones. Standard alarm reports collect their data from the result of database queries whereas the advanced reports collect their data from database queries but process the results through a calculation engine developed specifically for ISA 18.2 compliance. Some examples of standard alarm reports include this alarm dashboard, which collects alarm history over the day and displays the results as a Pareto chart, which is useful for visualizing the most frequently occurring alarms. This report visualizes alarm history as a Gantt chart, which displays the timeline and duration of alarms, which is useful for identifying sequences and patterns of alarms. My third example combines alarms and process history into a single inline log, which can be used to correlate process variables with alarms. All of these reports provide useful information about the alarm system, but we'll now turn our attention towards reporting for ISA compliance. The ISA 18.2 standard is considered a recommended and generally accepted good engineering practice by regulatory and insurance agencies and aims to increase safety and optimize operator response to alarms. It proposes a multi-stage life cycle illustrated in this diagram based around continually monitoring and improving the performance of the alarm system. SciTech provides a benchmark report which is useful for control engineers and system integrators looking to evaluate alarm system performance against ISA standards. And XL Reporter's Advanced Alarm Module can be installed to provide continuous monitoring and assessment of the alarm system. For larger systems with tens of thousands of configured alarms, making system performance improvements can become a challenge. This is why SciTech has partnered with Exida, who can provide expert assistance with alarm rationalization as well as implementation. The benchmark report provided by SciTech is an ideal starting point for any alarm system improvements. It provides an overview of the current state of the system and highlights problematic areas. This report is available free of charge to eligible users who provide SciTech with at least 30 days of alarm data. The monitoring and assessment phase of the ISA 18.2 lifecycle requires continuous system performance feedback. Excel Reporter's advanced alarm reports provide this in the form of out-of-the-box KPI dashboards and detailed analysis reports. Users can even drill down into raw alarm data so no detail is left hidden. Now let's take a look at some example reports. Up to this point, we've used the term alarm system performance. This alarm dashboard report displays ISA 18.2 performance KPIs with an evaluation rating for each. It's easily published to web browsers and mobile devices and is backed up by detailed analysis reports, such as this one, which helps identify chattering and stale alarms or alarms with extremely short and long activation times. These alarms both distract operators and can skew the results of assessment reports. The Alarm Sources Report visualizes the top contributing alarms in the system, which can help indicate which alarms are distracting operators the most. The Floods Report shows periods of high alarm activity, which can indicate when operators are being overwhelmed. This example shows a custom report where the top 20 alarm sources are combined with data from a process historian. Now let's take a look at how this advanced alarm reporting can be accessed easily from any Excel Reporter project. The first step is pointing Excel Reporter to the alarms database using the advanced alarm management connector. My example data came from a Delta V event journal, but products from Rockwell and Siemens are also supported.
my test data comes from Microsoft Access, but typically this type of alarm data is stored in SQL Server, which is supported too. After creating the connector, all of the example reports we just looked at are automatically added to the project. To generate one, all I have to do is open up the on-demand reports viewer, select the template, enter a start and end time, and click refresh. The KPI dashboard and all the analysis reports are right here in this workbook and can be then saved as PDF, Excel, printed, and even emailed. Advanced alarm reports can be run automatically on a schedule, as I've done in my project for the entire alarm system, as well as a few specific operator positions. An open analysis report is also provided that displays every alarm message log by the system. Filter options allow me to drill down into the data based on very specific criteria, such as area, alarm state, and alarm level. Here I can see the start times of the three critical alarms from a particular area over the course of the month. This tool could also be used to view the raw data behind the ISA 18.2 KPIs in an alarm report. For more information on the advanced alarm connector and configuring customized reports, see the built-in product documentation. For more information, visit us online at www.scitech.com.